everybody. Thank you for joining for my YouTube video today. This one is about how to ship your paparazzi accessories jewelry. I'm going to show you some tips on some of the best ways to ship jewelry to your customers to make sure that their pieces get there safely and in perfect condition. The first things you want to do is get some padded envelopes. I'm going to show you the three different sizes that I use. This first one here is a four by eight. This is great for usually one piece of jewelry. The second one is a six by nine. I have them in different colors. These are great too, because they have those peels that you just tear right off. And then the third one that I use, so you can use different ones for different amounts of jewelry. And this one here is an eight and a half by 11, same self seal packaging. These here are definitely a great thing that you want to be shipping your jewelry in. It is padded with bubble wrap on the inside of the envelopes. I will also put the links for each one of these because I purchased mine from Amazon. There's several different places. Amazon and eBay are definitely the best prices that I have found for those. And I'll put those links in the comments um, with this video so that you have that. So the next thing you want to do is wrap each piece of jewelry in a piece of tissue paper. I'll kind of show you how I did that. This here is a pair of earrings that I've wrapped up. It's in a nice, nice and folded in a square. And then what you also want to do is once you get it wrapped in tissue paper, is then also put it inside one of these pink paparazzi bags. These here do come in our kits. Everybody gets a pack of a hundred. They're four dollars in the back office. You can always purchase more as you need them. So definitely put your pieces that you've wrapped in tissue paper and then put them in a pink bag. The next thing I do is, depending on how many pieces you have, wrap them up just like this. And then depending on the amount of pieces, of course, you want to pick the size of bubble mailer that you want to use. And you want it to kind of be a snug fit in there so pieces are not sliding around inside of it. As you can see, this pair of earrings fit in here perfect. Ideally, these are probably good for at least four or five pieces for this particular size. The other things that you want to make sure to include when you're shipping. The care instructions is such a huge thing. I do um, have told all my team members, make sure... You know, anybody who purchases jewelry, you want to give them a care instruction sheet which talks about not getting the jewelry wet, not sweating, not doing dishes, etc. These are super important to put in every single package that either you mail out or hand to people in person when they purchase jewelry. And then the other important thing is your business card. You want to have your business card in there so that you have your contact information so they can shop with you again after they get their jewelry. Um, you can attach it, either tape it to outside of one of the pieces that has tissue paper, or you can include it inside with a piece of jewelry to make sure that these don't get lost in the bubble mail or in the bag and gets tossed in the trash. You want people to hold on to these. Um, another great tip for business cards too is you can get the business card magnets to put on the back of these. And then people will tend to keep magnets and put them on their refrigerator. Another great tip to get people to hold onto your business card is with magnets. Another great thing that I do for my customers. Then also, um, as far as when you ship it, you can use printer labels. If you're just starting out and don't have a lot of money, you can certainly hand write your labels and attach them onto the envelopes. That's another great way to do it and save yourself some money until you get in um, to get a printer and some shipping labels. And then I'll also do another video too as well about cheaper ways to ship, which can be through pirate ship or ship station. There's a couple of great options to save you from going to the post office for shipping. And then the other thing that I do, which I think is a great idea, I've had customers tell me that they absolutely love this, is especially rings because they're small, is to get these netted bags. I'll also include the link for this because I buy these from Amazon. They're usually around $8 for 100 of them and come in multi different colors. So you can get multi colors or just all plain. I like to ship my rings 
in these bags and then wrap them in tissue paper. It, it's like extra protection for them. Plus also these are nice that your customers can store their jewelry in this. Um, you're welcome to, of course you can put smaller bracelets, you can put earrings in here. I'll show you one that I did with a pair of earrings. When I hand deliver my jewelry too, I always put the earrings in these bags and of course the rings as well. Um, the dangly bracelets fit in here great. These are awesome to give to your customers too as they can store their jewelry in it. I have had a few customers tell me how much they absolutely love these little bags so that they're not having to go hunt for their earrings to find a matching pair when they can store them together in these bags and it makes it so much simpler to keep them together. So this is another great tip for shipping and for delivering jewelry in person. Well, if you like and enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you are interested in joining my team, please head over to my website at www.pamelas5dollargems.com and there is plenty of more information on there about joining my team and also there is consultant resources and all kinds of information about paparazzi on there as well. Well, thank you all for watching and I will see you all again soon on my next video. Thank you.